Welcome to Caddy Quick Clips, your quick guide to successful drawing and modelling with Caddy. If you've ever wanted a range of different settings, different to those that are the standard Caddy default settings, every time you start working on Caddy, then a template is probably a very good way to go. And we create and edit our own title sheets and templates very quickly now from the settings drop down within Caddy. So we go to the menu bar and we call templates and title sheets. And here we see that we have the ability to introduce every time we start a new drawing a non-templated drawing. So that would be the option there and you see the field clears. We could use a default template where we could go and browse for a particular template, choose a template we want and just open that. Or we could browse for a folder and in that folder all the title sheet uh, templates will be there. We pick the one we want to choose. If we're wanting to edit a default template, so in other words customize it a little bit, we can edit the default template straight from this dialog now. At the top we see that we have that caddy default template loaded, that caddy.ctp. If I wanted to add something to that, and here it could be just changing settings, maybe from absolute to relative, or introducing uh, a box for information, anything at all, we can do that. And then by hitting save, we're saving that changed Caddy template file. So now when we want to introduce another version of that, literally just hitting the new gives us exactly that uh, as our startup drawing. We can also customise our title sheets. So here we might want to introduce a, a border, title, detail, uh, even a logo in there. And we can do that very quickly and very easily from, again, the settings drop down with templates and title sheets. And here at the bottom we see we have our title sheets drawing and we can browse for that. If we want to make changes to it, we can simply edit that title sheet. And here we'll see that we have the title sheets that we have already there. And notice that the name is there to give us an easy identifier for that title sheet. So if we want to create a new one, for instance, we could right click, go to the context sensitive menu to sheets, and we'll create a new sheet. We get a name, so we can call this A1 new, for instance, and we could set up the printer that we're going to be using that with. We could choose our sheet size, and just OK that. So that's set the, the size so that when we draw our border on here, we know that when we call it back to that particular printer, it's going to print in the right place. We could now draw in our border. We could do offsets to that. And simply draw some parallels across. just to give us a, a, a flavour of the title sheet. And then when we save that, we can simply remove that now. When we go to create a new sheet, so I'll say new sheet here, we'll set up our printer, again choosing the same, same printer and same sheet size so that we know it will come back in the, the correct place. So there's our sheet. Right click to sheets and then insert title sheet and we see there that we have A1 new which is the title sheet that we just drew and we can bring that straight into our drawing. Nice, quick, very, very easy. And when we're using title blocks within Caddy we can use some of the smart tools that we have available to make it quicker and easier to give us that standard information we need every single time. And the way we can do this is with attributes, block attributes, and text tags. So let's have a look at how these work. So for a start off, we'll deal with the block attributes. So taking a look at our title sheet there, we can come down to our advanced objects. And here we have attributes. Choosing the attributes tool, we can create attributes. 
and we can give it uh, a tag here, so here we'll say client name, and we could copy and paste that in there just to give us a prompt when we come to enter the new value. We've got the height of the text that we want to place in there, and we're going to remove the tick from the apply value to all references because we want individual ones all to be different. So, okay, that, and then we'll place it in position there. So we have our, our prompt client name, client name. We can go for a, a second one, create an attribute, and here we'll have project, for instance. It could be anything of your choosing, so we'll copy and paste that in there. And again, we'll remove the tick, and we'll just hold ourselves vertical by holding on the tab key and place that in there. So that will give us our, our attributes when we create a block. So let's have a look at how we do that. Choosing a board, we'll now select those objects and we'll make them into a block, which we'll call title01. We can give it an origin. We can choose the corner there, for instance, and we could even give it a description if we wanted to. The important thing is that we create that block. So these are the attributes. We're going to just OK that at the moment, and you'll see that those titles of value are placed in there. What we'll do now is take a quick look at text tags, because if we go to text, we can go to tags, and in here we'll see that we have a whole range of options for things we might wish to place in our drawing. So we could place the date, here we go, for numeric, we could place our, our date in there, and we could maybe even place the time. So that will give us two extra things within our drawing which we've done automatically. And we can see that we have the drawing name and path and even the, the sheet name here. So we can actually drop those in as we want them. Having saved or having created our drawing here, what we can do now is simply save that title sheet's drawing once again. And then when we go to our, our drawing here, choosing to go to our sheets, we can right click, go to the sheets tools and create a new sheet. We'll choose the printer once more, choose the sheet size. And then simply introduce our title sheet, right clicking as before insert title sheet, A1 new, and here we see that we have the attributes that we wish to include. So client name we could type our client's name and the project and there we see we have the drawing sheet name we have the time and we have the date. All added automatically and when we update things within our drawing, so if we were to go to sheet and go to sheet setup and change it from new sheet to alterations and extensions OK that, a quick regen, and we'll see that we have our text tag, which reflects that, which we can move across into the correct place. You can find more information on Caddy on our website, www.caddysoftware.com. And check out the Caddy Software channel on YouTube for more tips and tricks on using Caddy.